all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where i'll bring you back to back updates and information as to the hot in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper i see the hot you don't share for the obodo as um Owazurike. Uh, everybody know Wazurike will be the former leader of uh, Masop or still the leader of Masop. Uh, but for me, in my own note, I believe he's a runaway soldier who forgot uh, the struggle as Mazen Nandekano took over and then um, Simon Eba becomes the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic, government in exile recently. But as it is, uh, Wazurike on his own words as um, the... Uh, independent movement uh, BIM uh, mark uh, a milestone of their existence as uh, one of the struggling team and group that have been fighting for the Biafra liberation. But as it is, Wazurike made a shocking comment that shocked everybody to the marrows of their bone. Let's go down to the full detail of the information as I'll be dishing out all this information one by one to you. You don't share it. The founder of the Biafra Independence Movement, BIM Chief Ralph Oazurike, has alleged that Finland-based self-acclaimed Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Simon Eba, is not fighting for the independence of people of Biafra, but he is only confusing the land. Oazurike, who stated this during the 25th anniversary of the Masob, BIM, in Abba said Eba cannot be Prime Minister of Biafra when he is preaching violence and not in touch with the situation at home. The Biafran leader, who was represented by the new Biafran Prime Minister, Ezine Uwezoke David, insisted that the independence of Biafra can only be achieved through a non-violence approach, which Masob, BIM, has been advocating since... September 13th, 1999. He said, Simon said he is the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile. That's his way of seeing things. However, we believe that one must start from home to be good before going out there in the diaspora. Whatever he is doing outside there remains an outside. Something until he returns home. When you stay home to do whatever you are doing or saying, people will know you are serious and you have a stake in the nations you are trying to build. He is alone in exile, but I am at home just as UNPO approved. On the prol proliferation of Pro Biafra group, Wazrike assured that the groups would soon come together because the independence of Biafra is at hand. Today is a special day, a day that the movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra Masob was founded. There will be no more shedding of blood, there will be no more shooting of guns or any form of violence in our land again because what we are doing is a non-violent agitation. I want to post it there, my wonderful people. This one is coming live uh, from Owazurike. <laughs> and when I had that one, uh, I say make I laugh in Jalingo as it be because <laughs> um, this is the 25th year of Masop. Uh, having been operating in the nation called Nigeria, and um, they said they were fighting for freedom. They took over Ojuku. Uh, remember the 1967 to 1970 civil war uh, that the damn head of state, Gowon, declared no victor, no vanquish. And um, that 3DR uh, that said rehabilitation, reconstruction, and rebuilding, which was promised all over the nation, of course. Uh, you know the people who bear the brunt of that particular war was the Biafrans alone uh, who were uh, refunded with 20 pounds to start up their business worth millions that was seized in the NIG central bank. And up until then, uh, a lot of people have been coming up, people like uh, um, Wazrike who came up with Masop 25 years ago. But the question is, what has been the impact of Masop in the Biafra struggle? to compare to what Kano has been able to do within the space of 2015 uh, to 2024. You can count the years and you, are seeing, you can see that it has not been that long that Kano started and he has achieved a milestone. And now, Epa came into the picture, who took it to the other level and made sure that a Biafra Republic government in exile uh, started existing. Of course, you know that by history, 
A lot of nations that uh, seceded from the Soviet Union was in exile. Uh, people like the Poland and the rest of them uh, who were in exile before they become a government on their own. Well, uh, everybody is entitled to their opinion. Uh, Owasrike has spoken uh, according to what he knew, and I believe that he is entitled to his opinion. But the question is, uh, him that have been fighting for this cause, how long? How long? Like how far? Uh, they say that um, it's not how long, but how far have you gone? Meanwhile, uh, Nam the Kano started some few years ago, and they have been able to achieve a milestone. Even Simon Eber, who is the second, and um, anybody is if I banakanejre, if I you don't need a glass to look at what a, a a bracelet on your hand. You don't even need it. From all said and done. Epa and Kano has done more to whatever Oazrike think he has been able to achieve since the inception of this of this struggle. Meanwhile, uh, make I carry you go on another information as the hala for the Obodo today and among the sit at home, Katakata woes don't stop for the Obodo. As the sit at home don't turn bloody, this one they happen for inside, 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 inside that state where we say the man where they call hope who's on danger. And I'm be their governor. Uh, they say the Qatar was where it happened. They know be smart, you know. Say the army and uh, the unknown gun boys. Uh, some people they come on them unknown gun men or UGM. Other people believe say now the Biafra liberation boys. Now then they perform that act. Or they say they don't fire face to face uh, with the uh, the NIG them boys. And from information where we say they drop for our table. <laughs> They say NIG boy that is now Choma Jungwa now in the collect to say the boys don't collect Choma Jungwa. I see the be. <laughs> we they try reach to the governor where we say he they govern for that obodo. Uh, make we ask and waiting they happen. <laughs> they say the man don't trauma. The man don't collect Choma Jungwa. Uh, they say the man did for Abuja as it be. Meanwhile, information just pop up on my table now. Dangote Group counters NMPC claims of buying petrol at eight eight hundred and ninety-eight per liter as misleading. Oh <laughs> say Taylor. <laughs> NMPC say waiting did they buy crude from uh, Dangote's refinery in at eight hundred and ninety-nine naira per liter. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Dangote refinery has counted has countered that particular. Uh, Mission. <laughs> Say which one be that? But meanwhile, remember that this government promised us that as soon as uh, Dangote refinery start its production, that we are going to have a reduction in the oil prices. But <laughs> it looks as if uh, that by December, uh, you and I are going to buy fuel for two thousand five hundred naira. <laughs> Somebody they tell me today say if buy uh, 16 liters for 20,000, I said, oh, yeah, well, we call the divide, they calculate. We find out, say, what did they sell for at 1,250? For the black market, the people, those people, they sell 1,350 or 1,400. And that is to say that very soon, uh, the country name will be waiting that they call Otilo. <laughs> Meanwhile, another information, they say an unusual weather shift has turned the Sahara green. Hmm. Of course, you know that the Sahara uh, part of Nigeria or anywhere Sahara is usually desert. But as it is, uh, there has been unusual change in the weather and Sahara has turned green. Uh, that is a miracle. Uh, it could be the miracle of choosing Mopul. <laughs> I don't know whether you don't follow that trend. Uh, they say even if well done, they had now, once you carry choosing sticker put for your car, my brother, in six months, you go use your fuel. Uh, me, myself, this morning or in the afternoon, I go rush, go buy gas or even buy fuel, uh, put Steven sticker. I'll be choosing sticker for there and see what is going to become the outcome of that matter. Well, I am not in doubt of any miracle that God can do. I am a child of God, a bona fide one, uh, a trusted Anglican. Uh, but as it is, we have to follow the crews of the moment. Meanwhile, be that as it may, as if this is where I'll be winding down the curtain on this particular edition. But before that, I'll bring you a head, few headlines uh, that you can keep up with. Uh, the first one is um, unusual weather in the Sahara, then uh, migration. Twice as many migrants die crossing the Sahara than the Mediterranean Sea. They say, hmm, crossing the Sahara. Remember, I get some of our boys where they pass through the desert. Uh, you pass from Nigeria, uh, from the Etanijel, from Nigel, 
you can to enter other countries from there and idea from there you go enter libya from libya now you go follow uh enter inside the mediterranean sea to cross but the information reaching us sharp sharp now is that a lot of people has died in the sahara than those who have died in the mediterranean sea of course um both of them are quite risky because passing through the sahara hmm, the sun the scorching sun there my brother and when you are passing through the mediterranean if you fall inside the sea um nowhere for you for they say <laughs> I see the be now. You better make you pass through the Mediterranean. One boy the other day uh, entered into a container, container vessel, believing that the container was heading to Europe. Unfortunately for him, it was a container that was going to uh, from Nigeria to Togo. And that was where my brother landed. And as it is, he came out. And that is the case. But meanwhile, don't try this at home. Uh, there is no need of finding a way to evade. Uh, you can plan yourself very well and at the appointed time uh, you can see what have what you are looking for if you actually want to travel but we still believe say nigeria go better <laughs> no slap my mouth i won't flee nigeria like tinubu did during abacha era say so worry of course you know so worry Omori, a political activist who have been fighting for uh, he has been fighting with a norm uh, with no party and he wants to become the president of this nation. Of course, it's in the, it is in the constitution. It is stipulated there uh, that you can actually go with no party if you have enough support. But as it is, it is not working out for Sowery. As his passport was seized some years ago, this year the government of Tsunibu released his passport. Uh, but he, still, he has still not like kept quiet. In Adama, Wakebi Bono has ranked the highest on Nigeria's food inflation as at August, August and September uh, Adama Wake Bibono State has ranked on Nigeria highest food inflation. <laughs> uh, these states, of course, you know the northern state to be the producer. You see states like uh, Benue, who are known as the basket of the nation. You see Adama Wake, CKBC Bono. All these states are states that produce food, but as it is, they say they have gone into food inflation. <laughs> Maybe say hunger will finish everybody for this nation. Imo police for a gun attack in the Abba station neutralized three suspects. This one is happening in Imo state. Before I wind on the curtain, let's see what is happening there. <laughs> um, if the country wants on you to thief, uh, my brother, I bet, calm down small. Uh, they say half bread is better than none. Meanwhile, as it be, uh, this one they happen for Imo state life as uh, government try to attack around that Njaba area. Uh, now these boys will be see they do a uh, block road and rob. Uh, and I be say I see the over the day now anything will be night travel they avoid them anywhere where you they go. Uh, try go during the daytime uh, because the banish catch be woji na fifia. Eh makamboji gechi. Meanwhile let me wind down the curtain here and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to own your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first to collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you, mama, mama.